all the, the, the bullies. Because Jay is strong, he's aggressive. When he puts his hands on you, you know, he tells the story of what's going on. Okay. Um, they all have something really special about them. And as we develop through this, I mean, they're all going to just, you know, keep developing. They're going to start, you know, adopting other abilities, you know, through the game of football. But, you know, for right now, you know, it's really just about getting them ready on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, having their minds right and making sure that they're really sound. Because I'm a firm believer that the best football players are always the smartest. What have you thought about Rector defensive end? I love it. I mean, I mean, in a, in a realistic 4-3 defense, you know, the NFL, he has an yeah. in-body. So yeah. uh, I love the fact that, you know, he's getting, you know, reps at end because, I mean, he's a natural. And then he moves naturally. He has a really good feel for the game. So really happy that he's getting, um, you know, get, getting reps all over the place. And he's, he's a utility man. I mean, he does everything. He does everything. One thing that's – go ahead. How is Connor Murphy uh, progressing? Connor Murphy's doing great. Connor Murphy's doing really good. I mean, I think his, uh, his change of direction and his agility – um, you know, with our strength and conditioning staff, with uh, Coach Lewis, um, you know, really developed him over the summer. And you can see it when they're out in, fall, you know, in fall camp. He does a great job in changing direction. And you can see just year by year, he's getting better and better, and he's moving better. How far does he have to come to, to get some real that's, reps? That's solely on Connor Murphy. You know, it's, it's a day-to-day -day thing. But, you know, I'm really happy with the footsteps that he's taking up until this point. You mentioned uh, with, with Christian Rector that he's kind of a natural in a 4 3 defensive end. What's the difference in that versus what he has to do here? Nothing. I mean, he's just playing on the edge. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's playing to a two-man surface or a three-man surface instead of playing, you know, over the guard. So it's really about him just showing his, you know, dynamic. He's really a very athletic kid. He's strong. He's powerful. He's explosive. He's a utility man because he can do multiple things across the board. Him being a 4-3 in is just something that, you know, that, that he has a lot to do because our defense is very, you know, sophisticated and he can do that in some of our packages. The depth you guys have this year, it will just, just – Early on in the 11 11, when you guys are doing that two minute drill, whatever you're doing, just notice a lot of rotating going in. Is, is, are you, is there going to be a lot more players that's playing this year versus last year? That's something that Coach P is going to decide. Um, you know, we get the guys ready to play, and, you know, as they build trust and we depend on them to, you know, to execute the defense, then they go out there and they're able to show what they can do. Um, we we're, we're rolling guys in because it's fall camp. I mean, guys got to get reps. You got to see what they can do so you can evaluate them. And I'm really happy with what the group has done up to this point. How many packages do you have? How many different things can you do? We have several. I'm not, I'm not going to go and put it out there like that because nobody needs to know how many packages we have. I'm just going to say 13,300. Okay, let everybody get ready for that, that many packages. We've got about 13,000, uh, give or take. Uh -huh. <laughs> give or take 300? About, about, just about, just a little under. I mean, are you able to? to do more with these guys. Yeah. 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 I mean, and, and it's really amazing. Yeah. It's really amazing. I mean, we talked about those three guys, but talking about a guy like Caleb Trimble, who's taking some, you know, significant, you know, jump in the spring because he was here. Uh, Liam Jimmons, who I think up until this point, he's had one of the better camps of all the guys up front. And then, you know, having a guy like um, Jake Lichtenstein, you know, finally coming back and contributing and practicing. I mean, all these guys had a little ding, but they competed and they're already back. Already back way ahead because, you know, the room is really competitive in that nature, and I'm really happy about that. Yeah, you had to play. To, to take that job. What, what's the difference? Just hone it. I mean, anytime you get a young guy that comes here, I mean, they don't know what we're asking them to do. Even after the first day, you can get overwhelmed, you can get mad at them, but when it's all said and done, they don't know what they're doing. So you have to teach them. You have to go through progressions. You have to teach them what we're asking them to do. And then over time, you see the work. You see the changes. You see them, you know, taking the coaching and then, you know, showing up in the team setting. You know, where they're, you know, now they're defeating a man in front of them, and now they're having success, and that's builds confidence. So when guys are here, especially when they come in, you know, and they and they and they're admitted in, in the mid year as as, a, as in spring early. You get that much more time to work with them instead of just getting them on fall camp and work with them. That's why you can see a jump from where he was in spring and to where he is now. So, you know, uh, just, just a great job from Caleb up until this point. He has a lot more to go, but he's, he's doing a great job. He looks like he's got a pretty good uh, quick jump. I yeah, mean, he, he, he definitely is. Very twitchy, very mm -hmm. twitchy. And um, that's something that, you know, we've acknowledged, you know, as, as, as staff. And he's definitely going to have a role. You know, he's, he's only, you know, building more of what he can do in that role. I got to keep going, guys.